Welcome to Jellica's Math and Ink. So today we're going to discuss the key features of quadratic functions. Okay, the key features of quadratic functions is all about, hey, it's domain, range, vertex, axis of symmetry, x-intercept, y-intercept, solution, zeros, and roots. So you must be familiarized with the key features or the key terms or vocabularies, okay? So let's start, let's start, let's start. Let me just present to you the screen. So credit to the owner of the, uh, of the, uh, choo -choo -choo -choo. credit to the owner of the uh, worksheet that we were going to use for today. For today okay so show 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 okay so the screen clearly so i just snip it so i will also attach the link below for this uh activity okay then after this one i believe that if there's no application in um in learning mathematics if there's no application there's no retention so i will also upload the url for a games that you may um for you to apply what you have learned for today about key features of quadratic functions hope it will help okay again credit also to the owner of that quizzes on the quizzes.com okay so let's start for the key features of quadratic functions, well, we have a parabola. Look, first term, parabola is a graph of a quadratic function. So we're going to identify the x-intercepts. X-intercepts are the point that touch your parabola on the x-axis. So the x-axis is the vertical line on the Cartesian plane. Okay, so we have, we'll use a red pen. So this point and this point. So can you please name those points? I will give you a few seconds for you to name those points. So for the x-intercept, we will use a format of an ordered pair. So we will use a parenthesis. Parenthesis, parenthesis, okay? So for the x-intercept, the y is zero, okay? So we have, I can say two points for this one for our x-intercept. So we will do two ordered pairs in here. Again, for the x-intercept, the y is zero. So what are those points? Ready? Please type your answer in the chat box or comment right down below for your answers. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Very good. Very good. So for that, I will give you a big shout out. Awesome. Good job. Okay. So the first point is your right. It is 2.5. 2.5. And then the second point is because it is on the left side of the Cartesian plane. So don't forget a negative number so it is a negative 0.5 so negative 0 0.5 okay don't forget a negative numbers frequently we forget uh, writing negative so don't forget it take note of that okay for the y intercepts Okay, let us use a blue pen for that so that you can see the difference between the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is the point that touch by your parabola on the y-axis. The y-axis is the, is, the, is, the, is the vertical line. So x-axis is the horizontal, correction, clari to make it clarify. x-axis is the horizontal one, and then the y-axis is the vertical line. Okay, so therefore, for the x-intercept, let me highlight it. Highlight the x-intercept, the y-intercept. For the y-intercept, the x is always equal to zero. Take note of that. So give me the point that touched by your parabola on the y-axis. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Good job. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Another awesome, another awesome sound effects. So the answer is positive two. You're right. Oh my God. You are all awesome. Okay. You are all math and Nick. You are very sharp and smart in mathematics. Next, we will do the vertex. We will find the vertex. The vertex is the maximum point. Okay, the vertex is the maximum point. So let us use a black pen for that. So the peak point, that is the definition of a vertex. The definition of a vertex is the peak point of the parabola. Okay, the highest or the lowest point on the graph, on the parabola. So for this one, we will read first the x value. Take note, careful on your answer. A okay, common mistake of my student, they read the y axis first before the x axis. Even in alphabet, x, y, z. So we read the x first before the y. Remember that. Okay, five seconds for you to write the vertex. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Awesome answers. And for that, I will give you this one. <laughs> nice one okay so the answer is positive one and four perfect oh my god okay next for the point of extremum or circle one we need to circle between the maximum and the minimum Okay, since the parabola is going down, it is a front face, it has a maximum point. For the maximum point, for the maximum point, the vertex is a maximum point. So we will just clarify this one we'll in circle. The point of extremum is maximum. Okay, if it is a happy face, that is the time that it have a minimum. Okay, minimum. Or if it is a sad face, it is a maximum. Take note. Okay. And this one, the quadratic term, for a happy face, the quadratic term is positive. Okay. And the graph is going up. Okay. If the quadratic term is negative, if the quadratic term is negative, okay, the graph is sad face and the graph is going down, okay, facing downward. Okay, if it is a frown face or sad face, okay, the point of extremum is maximum. Okay, maximum. Take note of those concepts because if we use those concepts in answering some questions, especially if there are multiple choice, you can easily eliminate eliminate those incorrect answers if they are very obvious. Okay, for the uh, point highest point or peak point for the y axis, the value of the y is you're right. Very good. It is positive. So let this just write this one in a clear one. So you're right. It is very good. It is positive four. For the axis of symmetry, so we will draw. We will draw a, a vertical line for the axis of symmetry. At one point, so we will divide the parabola symmetrically or two equal uh, parts of it. So symmetrical. Now, at what point does your graph or the axis of symmetry touch the x-axis? So it is on positive one. Oh my God. Okay. You are doing great. Okay. So it is a positive one. For the axis of symmetry, we'll write our answer in the um, x equals form. Okay. x equals one. Okay, for the root solution and zeros, as I mentioned on the previous video, okay, we use different terms, but the answers are just the same. So let me just clarify this one. X intercepts, this is just a dash one. X intercepts. X intercepts. Hey. 
So x intercept, I may just I will just write three dots in here means conclusion. X intercept is also the same with our roots. With our roots. It's also the same with our solutions. Solutions. And it is also equal to the zero. So these are just all the same. We just use different terms. So if the question, uh, if on the question it's asking you what are the zeros, those are also the solutions. If they're asking you what are the solutions, those are also the roots. If they're asking you what are the roots, they are also the x-intercept. They are just the same. Since we all know what are the x-intercepts, okay? Since we all know that we we have already the x-intercepts, so the roots are very obvious. We can write, uh, we have different forms in writing the answers, okay? So for the roots, we're looking for the value of the x. So for the roots, there you go, you're right. For the roots, the first root is equal to 2.5, 2.5. And then the second root, we can write x sub 1 or, yeah, x sub 2, but they are still the value of the x intercepts. And negative 0 0.5. Don't forget the negatives. Negatives, negatives. Okay, for the solutions, can you please write your answer on the chat box? What are the solutions for the hockey features? Oh my God. I can already see a lot of answers. I can already see those answers showing up, popping up on the chat box so again if you have question don't hesitate to write your question on the comment box probably um your classmates also wanted to ask that questions too but they are hesitant to raise that questions so it will help a lot to express or yeah to tell me your or write down below your questions good job so for that again you will receive a oopsie <laughs> Okay, good job. You are all amazing and wonderful. Awesome, guys. Hey, okay, again, same. You're right. So the answer is for the solution, x is equal to 2.5. 2.5 and x sub, another value of x is equal to negative 0 0.5. Don't forget the negative. You may also write your answer in the form of an ordered pair. So, which what we did on the x-intercept, like 2.5 and zeros. And also, we have we have also negative 0 0.5 and zeros. 0 0.5 and zeros. Don't forget the comma, okay? That is very important. Or you may also write your answer in the form of bracket, like 2.5 and then negative point negative 0 0.5. Okay, so we have different forms, but they are just the same. For the zeros, voila. So for the zeros, we already got the answers. Since we all know that root solutions and zeros are just the same, so we're just copying them or writing them also. Okay, so the value of the x, the value of the x. My cursor is missing. <laughs> okay, so there you go. I can see it right now. So we can also write a blue pen in here. So same, the roots, zeros, and solutions, as I repeat, are just the same, similar, equal. So it looks like Y, so we'll extend it. Negative 0 0.5. Okay, so that is the answers. We can also add for the domain and range in here. Okay, what are the domain? These are also the key features of the quadratic functions. So domain, domain we're focusing, this is letter D, I'm sorry. For the domain, we're focusing on all value of your x-axis. So concentrate on the x-axis. Okay, what are all the value of the domain or yeah, that are included on the x when you graph them or when you graph it on the graph given on this side? So as just imagine, okay, based on the axis of symmetry, 
when we extend, so you can see an, in, an arrow, arrow on both ends of the graph. That means it is infinite. Okay. If we're going to extend the graph, okay, going to the left and right, okay, on both sides, okay, just imagine that as the graph going down, it is also expand, or exp yeah, it is also expand on both sides, okay, expanded on both sides, okay. So that means as it goes down, it also moving widely on both sides. So that means all negative numbers zero and positive numbers are included on the domain so we can write a symbol all real numbers in here okay or you may also write your answer in a word complete word like all real numbers all real numbers you may also write your answer in the form of an infinite symbol Okay, that are included. So negative infinite numbers because all, neg all negative numbers are included. Zero is also included. And also all positive numbers. So we can, okay, we can also write positive in here or not. It's still the correct answer. Okay, next one. So let me highlight the domain since it is also part of the key features of the quadratic function. Next, we have the range. Let me use a black pen in here for the range. For the range, okay, concentrate. Those, these are all the Y values. Okay, so concentrate on the Y axis. For the range, we have a maximum point. So those going above four on the Y axis are not included, okay? So the maximum is four. Since we all know that the maximum uh, extremum is four for the y axis or for the value of y. So therefore, all numbers that are higher or greater than four are not included on the range. Okay, but however, okay, <laughs> the parabola has an arrow on both ends, so it goes down, facing downward. All numbers that are equal n less than 4 are included for the range when we graph it so therefore we may now answer it okay y is equal to or less than okay y is less than or equal to okay let me just clarify this one y is less than or equal to what to what to what to what you're right again another big awesome for you awesome see <laughs> okay so it's positive or oh my god okay so the value of the range um is less than or equal to four okay so that's all for today if you have questions please type or comment down below okay you are all mathematic very smart and quick learners in mathematics again welcome to Jalika's mathematic hope you've learned a lot enjoy while learning see ya see ya see ya see ya